Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to our online story time here at the North Sioux City Community Library. My name is Miss Terry, and I'm so glad that you took the time to come and read a book with us today. It is so important that you keep reading. We don't get to see each other very often, but keep reading. It's so important for your growth and will help you in school. So today I have a theme. It's called cats and dogs. And so I thought we would do a finger play right away this morning. And some of you have done this with me before, but you put your palm out flat and you take the other hand and put two fingers. You tap that palm on the other hand and it goes like this. Say it with me if you remember. My little kitty ran up a tree. She sat on a limb and she looked at me. I called, come kitty, and down she ran and drank all the milk that I poured in the pan. All right, so our first book today is called, I'm a Cat. And both of my books today are South Dakota Prairie Bud winners. So that means that a lot of people voted for these books and they won a great award in the state of South Dakota. So you might want to come in and check these out. And this is written by Galea Bernstein. This is a very fun book and I hope you enjoy it. I'm a cat. My name is Simon. I am a cat, just like you. Let's see who Simon's talking to. <gasps> Look at all their white eyes. Oh, it made them all laugh. Look at them. Ho, ho, ha, ha. He, 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 ha, ha. They all laughed at Simon. Why do you think they laughed? A cat, said Lion. Don't be silly, dear boy. You can't be a cat because I'm a cat. And you are nothing like me at all. Cats have manes. See his mane? And a tuft at the end of their tail. And when they roar, Everybody trembles, for they are the kings of all beasts. A cat, said Cheetah, but you are so short and chubby. Cats are tall and graceful creatures who run faster than all animals in the world. You don't look like a cat. You don't look like you can run very fast at all, says a cheetah. Look at his face. A cat, said Puma. That's ridiculous. Cats live in the mountains. That's why people call us mountain lions. They leap far, jump high, and act tough. I know fuzzy little rabbits look tougher than you. And over here, a cat. Cats are black said Panther. They live in jungles and rainforests and sleep in trees. Have you ever seen a jungle? said the Panther. A cat, said Tiger. That's very funny. You see, cats are very big and very strong and very, very orange. You are small and gray. You might be some kind of rat, but a cat? I don't think so. And that's what the tiger said. Simon was confused. Lion is the only one with a mane. He said, no one else is black like panther or orange like tiger. No one else can jump as high as puma and can run as fast as cheetah, so how can they all, how can you all be cats? Because we 
also have many things in common, said Lion. We all have small, perky ears and flat noses. <gasps> look at all their ears. Do they all look the same? Look just like his. And Simon's looking at his ears like, we're the same. Long whiskers and long tails. That's true. They all have whiskers and long tails. We have sharp teeth and claws. Does Simon have long teeth? Long, does he have sharp teeth and claws? Yeah, cats do. And big eyes that can see in the dark? Oh, I think so. Here's Simon. And here's all the big cats. They all have eyes that can see in the dark. So do I, said Simon. I have all those things, only smaller. There's his claws. They all leaned in for a closer look. Ah, oh, said Lion. Oh, said Puma. Um, in that case, said Panther, er, it's very possible that, said Tiger, you're a cat, said Cheetah. So I'm part of the family. So I'm part of the family, asked Simon. The big cats looked at one another. Yes, they all said together. And they spent the rest of the day pouncing and prowling, prancing and playing like cats of all sizes do. Oh, and look at them in the back page. They're taking a nap together. Do you see Simon in that big mess of cats? Here he is down here. So that was our first book about cats. And so I picked one that was about dogs. And this is a great book. So I hope that you come and check this book out because it is called Stay, A Girl, A Dog, and a Bucket List. And this is by Kate Kleiss, Katie Kleiss, Kate Kleiss. I like the pictures in this book. When Astrid came home from the hospital, Eli was waiting. He was Astrid's first friend. And here's Astrid as a baby coming home. And there's Eli waiting. In time, Eli also became Astrid's personal bodyguard. Her favorite pillow, and sometimes her best hiding place. Oh, can you see Astrid in this picture? Can you see where she's hiding? Right there under Eli. Astrid and Eli had many things in common. They lived in the same house, ate at the same table, and slept in the same bed. There was only one difference. Astrid was a girl and Eli was a boy and a dog. As they grew older, Astrid began to notice other differences. I'm getting bigger than you, she said. Look how tall she was getting. Yes, thought Eli, but I'm getting older than you. It was true, for every birthday Astrid celebrated, Eli had the equivalent of six or seven birthdays, sometimes eight. When Astrid was six, she was still a young girl, but Eli was an old dog. By then, Astrid noticed it too. You walk so slowly now, Astrid told Eli one day at the beginning of summer. They stopped in the park to buy a bucket of popcorn. Popcorn is nice, said Astrid, 
but let's pretend we're eating spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs, thought Eli. That sounds delicious. Can you see other dogs in the park? There's one over here. Oh, look back there. And then there's one there. After they finished their snack, Astrid took Eli to the playground. Eli, Astrid said, have you ever been down a slide? You really should before you get too old. So with Astrid's help, Eli slid down the sun warm slide. It was fun, Eli thought. Who knew? I'm going to make a list, Astrid said, of all the things you should do before you get too old. We can do everything on the list together. The first thing on the bucket list was a bike ride. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure I can teach you how to ride a bike, Astrid told Eli the next day, but I can give you a ride on mine. And she did. Look at him riding the bike with her. This is better than, than riding in the car, Eli thought. He liked riding. The very next day, Astrid took Eli to the library, where they checked out lots of books about dogs. I don't know why I never, I've never read to you before, said Astrid, but I'm glad I put this on your bucket list. And look how he likes her reading to him. Do you read to your dog or your pets? Me too, thought Eli. He enjoyed looking at the pictures. A week later, they went to see a movie. And look what movie they saw. Lassie. That's about a dog. Astrid asked for special permission from the theater owner. I'll be quiet, Eli promised. They came home and they slept under the stars until it started raining. Then they went inside Eli slept with Astrid under the covers. That was also on the bucket list. The following week, Astrid gave Eli a bubble bath. After that, she brushed his clean fur for a full hour. Look how handsome you are, Astrid said. I am handsome, Eli thought. I'm also very old. It was true. Astrid knew it too. So she added one more thing to the bucket list. The last treat would be a surprise for Eli. I wonder what it was going to be. On Saturday night, Astrid took Eli to a restaurant for dinner. Two plates of spaghetti and with meatballs, Astrid told the waiter. When their meals arrived, Astrid beamed. This is what you deserve for being the best friend in the world. It is delicious, thought Eli, but I wish we were having popcorn in the park. As the weeks passed, Eli's fur faded from gray to white. His eyesight became weak his legs often ached. He no longer had the strength to walk to the park. So they stayed home and remembered their happy times together. Is there anything else you want to do before you get too old? Astrid asked. Anything at all, whatever it is, I'll add it to the bucket list. This, Eli thought, just this. He just likes spending time with Astrid, didn't he? Being with Astrid was the only thing left on Eli's bucket list. It was the only thing that had ever been on Eli's bucket list. The end. That was such a great book. And I bet all of your pets at home 
love being with you too. Well, we do have a craft this week and it's kind of going in with our October theme and it is just a little popsicle and it's pipe cleaners and it makes a cute little spider. So we do have a few kits here. If you'd like to stop by the library and pick one up, we have everything put in a bag for you and you can take it home and you can make it. Or Miss Leanne will put it on line and you can follow the directions if you have the items at home. So stay safe and we will see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.